Hi, Matt here with Uniweld Products. This is Uniweld's Hydraulic Expander Kit for swaging copper tubing. This tool will save you time and money by eliminating copper fittings and solder joints. You can also reround deformed tubes and fittings. The kit includes the compact hydraulic power swage tool and six PosiLock Quick Connect expander heads for sizes 3 8 to 1 and 1 8 inch OD tubing, an inside outside deburrer, and carrying case with storage compartments. For expanding larger size tubing, expander heads 1 and 3 8 and 1 and 5 8 are available and sold separately. Today I'll be demonstrating how to expand 3 8 inch and 7 8 inch copper tubing. Select the 7 8 inch PosiLock expander head and attach it by simply rotating the head a quarter turn to lock it in place. Prepare the copper tubing for installation by cutting the tube to proper length using a tubing cutter. Next, use the deburring tool to remove the burr from the inside of the copper tubing. Before swaging the copper tubing, it is important to remember it must be soft copper tubing. Hard drawn copper tubing is rigid and will most likely split down the tube if you attempt to swage it. However, you can avoid splitting hard drawn copper tubing by annealing the copper first. To anneal the copper, simply apply heat until the metal is cherry red and allow it to cool. The copper is now soft and malleable and can be swaged without splitting. Three-eighth inch copper tubing has been known to split during swaging even when using soft copper. So we recommend annealing both soft and hard drawn three-eighth inch copper tubing prior to expanding. For a smooth inside expanded fitting, it's recommended to expand halfway, then release. Rotate the head in the tubing, then complete the expanded fitting. Peter pipe wrench saved me a lot of time. You don't need three or four different pipe wrenches coming into the job site. You can get away with two, sometimes even one. You can ch change it from a 10 inch pipe wrench to an 18 to a 24. So you don't have to lug around three different pipe wrenches, just one. I can easily move around in a tight furnace area or go downstairs and put some two inch together. It's very versatile. The jaws are narrower, so you have the 10 inch jaws, you can get into tight spaces. Where you are working with larger diameter pipe, you still have the large jaw on a small handled branch. 
The steel and aluminum pipe wrench is definitely feel durable. The overbite that's on that jaw is just phenomenal for grip. It just seems to fit snug on anything you put it on. The grip on the jaw is not slipping. It's easy to move the grip. It stays in place. It's much better than the competitors.